I'm so sick. Buenos días. <laughs> I'm very sick. Guys. That's true. He is very sick. Let us get a little bit ready at least. Okay, we got up. We got ready. We're on our way to go buy what, Um, Cucumbers. Avocado. Avocado. Red onion. And limones. And some tostitos. And some beer. And some beer. Let's off to the... What is it called? Store. Store. Off to the store. While the shrimp finishes cooking, I am gonna eat a little snack. So I made some carne seca with valentina, limon, and tajin. My mouth is literally watering. Mm. Wow. My favorite way to eat this is <clears throat> Hey guys, so I finished making our food. Do I see it? Yes. And I bought some chips for it. So I put it out like this. Mmm, let's not even speak about it. But I got us on tostitos so we can eat it. And some bananas because it's John's favorite. He loves these. All right, so here's our food. We're gonna watch some Netflix while we're eating. John just finished feeding the pugs. Pretty chicken, and we're gonna say grace before we eat. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna try mine with those chicos. What are you trying yours with? It? And I'm gonna try mine with flamas. All right. So John is sick. He's on medication. He can't drink any beer. But cheers, baby. Cheers. <laughs> All right, let's try it. All right, let's try it. Oh my gosh, guys. So this is a really good cook. Just want to show you guys what I'm about to eat. Mm. I really love Mmm. You want to try it with this one? You like the flama, huh? I'll try with the flama. No. Come on. Okay, fine. All right, I'm going to try with the tostito now. I'm going to try with the flama. All right, <clears throat> here we go. Make sure I put a piece of avocado in there. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Damn, they both taste really good. Tiene mucho limón, ¿verdad? And the flamas. The ceviche? Mm-hmm. I think the tostitos taste the best, though. Oh my god, it's really good, huh? Yeah. Damn, guys. Pretty bomb. Thumbs up. If you guys try it, hit us up. This is not my personal recipe. I actually stole it from TikTok. Mm -hmm. Or did you send it to me or where was that? We saw the initial idea, <clears throat> mm -hmm. but we customized it a little bit. Mm. There's some things we didn't put. Just because of our taste, things we don't like right here. So, I rated a 10 out of 10. You do? Mm. I don't know, this is like beach vibes mm. for me. Like, if I was in a beach, sitting down, eating this, in front of an ocean, this is the vibes it gives me. This gives me, yeah, like a beach vibe. Beach vibe, right? What's that know. place in Puerto Peñasco that we ate at? It's like a lighthouse. Mmm, El Capitan. Mmm. But after that, we would go walk. Um, we need to go. Yeah, these are good vibes though because I had so much fun in that trip. I'm not gonna lie. We went AT. We went. We got on an. We got on an ATV. I can't talk. Um. 
I just had such a relaxing time and I remember just taking it all in because it was the last vacation before I moved. Huh? Moved. I want to try open it. I was honestly scared to move. I was terrified. I wasn't. Mm. I was scared because I knew I wasn't going to have no one over here. I was just kind of happy to be in one place again. Like, I was tired of coming back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Like, I was, <clears throat> I was just kind of like, oh, I'm ready to just settle down, be in one place, mm -hmm. you know. Which, I don't mind the settling down part. It's just, mm. well, you know, you know, it's been tough. For me personally, settling here. Um, I don't want to go too much into detail and bring down the vibes, but I've been tough. I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's different from moving from a busy city. I am. Mm -hmm. Seeing like El Paso so busy. No, yeah. Like now, every time we go to El Paso, we crave water burger we crave a walmart a walmart just the walmart alone we don't have a walmart here homie mm -hmm. a walgreens we don't have a walgreens here mcdonald's you thought mcdonald's was everywhere not here not here that's for sure and the closest mcdonald's is like 130 miles away i think an hour and a half which when you think about it to drive an hour and a half an hour and a half back that's three hours. Just for a freaking McDouble. A Happy Meal. Forgot to. Chicken nuggets. <laughs> oh my God. What else do you miss from El Paso? Mm. <clears throat> Texas Roadhouse. <clears throat> oh, I'm, honestly, <clears throat> what I miss the most is my family. I'm going to be very honest. Like, I see the importance of family now. I think I also miss in El Paso. The gas prices, oh. grocery prices, groceries. over here, like groceries, like 3% higher. To be honest, the first month we got here, we did buy groceries here, right, right? It was insane. This was honestly so good. Huh? <clears throat> yeah. What do you write me as a wife? A 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> the highest rating. <laughs> Melissa is such a good wife. Oh, baby, you're such a good wife. <clears throat> no, like literally. She does everything that a wife can do and more. Oh, you made me cry. Like, <clears throat> takes care of me at night when I'm asleep. Our Rosie John is a perfect husband. And when I make perfect, I mean perfect. To tell you that I don't trust even a mechanic with my car. Because I know my husband. I feel like mechanics is just like fake. Like mechanics, you can take them for breaks and they'll be like, oh, your engine? No one brought my car here because of my engine. Okay, I need to get my brakes done. Or a tune-up done, you know what I mean? Honestly, as an ex-mechanic, <clears throat> you love when a single mother <laughs> comes <clears throat> what? into okay. the shop. Because she doesn't know anything about vehicles. Babe, that's horrible. <laughs> Why are you so supportive? I love you. Anything I say is just that we real cool, Melissa. That'll be real cool. What if <clears throat> I become a druggie? No, I'll be very not cool. <laughs> okay. See, if you guys ever meet my family, I feel like I've kind of shown mm. them on my channel, but not to their extent. Like, they're a little bit crazy, huh, babe? Like, mm -hmm. I kind of, oh, I feel like on my channel, I kind of, like, learn to kind of not capture certain things, but... To edit it out. Andale. But in real life, my family's a little bit, like, uh... I don't know, like, if we had our own channel, it'd be, like, new drama every no, week. No, it would be, no like, do you guys remember that show, The Wild Boys? No? What's that? <laughs> you can't say that if I don't know it. <clears throat> Alright, it would be, like, uh um, What is it? I don't know. What <laughs> you is never seen it? The wild now you're making me scared. I need to research that. No joke though, my family is a little bit 
unconventional. That's a good word, right? Unconventional. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's because my family. And then there's something new every week since our family members is like, we have a lot of family. We should be the next every, every day is a party. Every day is a party. Ay, Dios mío. Anyways, um, on that note, I'm getting kind of fat. I'm getting kind of sleepy. We're going to let you guys go. We're going to watch some movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then after the that, show. I think we're going to watch mm -hmm. Sunday Night Football, right, baby? Yeah, or no. It starts at 6. It starts at 6. What time is it? Which I'm so mad that the Cowboys lost. I mean, I'm not going to say nothing because it's this team. He supports them all the way. Excuse me. But I will say, he's brainwashed me, okay? I don't think I like them. I just think he brainwashed me. She likes them. Uh, I don't know about that. She watches it. Okay, then. You don't kind of lie now. You root for that. <laughs> All right, guys. I love you. I All freaking done. love you. I freaking love you. I love you. And your cookie. And your kisses. <laughs>